This is the Sanlam Mula Money Family Game Show. Each week, two families compete to win 50,000 rand and stand a chance to be in the final to win 500,000 rand. And the ultimate prize, confidence. But for now, here they are. Your game show hosts, Nicolette Mashile and Tyson Gubeni. Well, it's a one for the Moolah, two for the show. Three to get them ready and let's go, go, go. This is the Sanlam Moolah Money Family Game Show. Now, by the end of today's episode, one lucky family is walking away with 50,000 rands and their spot in the quarterfinals. And if they make it to the finale, they could win the grand prize of 500,000 rands. Woo! I am joined, as always, by the financial bunny, presenter extraordinaire. It is Nicolette Mashile. Oh, thank you so much, Tyson. Yes, the San Lamula Money Family Game Show is the only place where all of us can learn about our finances in a fun and exciting way. But, of course, we are not playing by ourselves. So who are we playing with, Tyson? You know, I love this part of the job. Mm -hmm. Taking a closer look, we have game show enthusiasts, positions in IT and business. Please welcome Zanelle and Sia of Team Mongwe. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah. They'll be hoping to keep their wits about them as they go up against newlyweds. It is pilot and marketing professional Solam and Sive Mbana. Hey. <laughs> and of course here on the show giving us overall guidance as our Sunlam Pro. Today it's Kotham Adams. Thank you Tyson. Today, I cannot wait to share some insights on how money, family and kids should come together in achieving positive financial outcomes. We know how closely entangled those three things are. There are many lessons to learn that could give us clarity and advice. In every episode, we're offering you a book of money rules. Today, the money rule is learning to save can be a life-saving lesson. I'm here to help you stay strong on your financial journey. Stay focused and make your decision count. Back to you, Nicolette. Thank you so much, cool Thum. So let me tell you what the aim of the game is, right? You've got to collect as much moolah as you can versus your opponent. But we're going to be starting you off with 20,000 moolahs. Our first game is called the Moolah Money Mystery. Now in that game, you get an opportunity to answer some questions. And when you get them right, you get to collect some moolah or you can get insurance policies. If you get it wrong, however, you could lose 2,000 moolahs from your portfolio. So before you smash the buzzer, make sure you know what the answer is. Otherwise, you could lose that moolah. Nicolette, are we good to go? Yes, remember we're playing for 50,000 rand, so please have everybody's arms behind you. And here comes that first question. Who should be involved in the management of family finances? Is it A, only the breadwinner, B, the entire family, C, only the parents? With conviction, Team Mongwe, what is your selection? B. B, the entire family. Let us see, is that the correct choice that you have made, Team Mongwe? And yes, that is correct. So, Team Mongwe, I would ask you, what would you like to do? Add an insurance policy or that moolah? Insurance policy, please. Insurance policy, please. One policy coming up for Team Mongwe. <laughs> Nicolette? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next question. When can you start teaching your children about money? A, as soon as they know how to count, B, when they start getting pocket money, or C, in high school. Team Mbana, you are first to the buzzer. What is your choice? We're gonna go for A. We're gonna go for A, says Team Mbana. We always have to take a closer look to see if that is indeed the one you were looking for. And let us see. And yes, that yes. is correct. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> so Team Mbana, I would ask you, what would you like to do? An insurance policy or that mula? Should we get insurance? Okay, we'll take insurance. insurance. We'll take insurance, says Team Mbana. All right, let's see that insurance policy come right through for Team Mbana. Let's move on to our next question. For children to acquire sensible spending habits, they need to focus on which of the following? A, their needs. B, their wants. C, their desires. And Team Mbana is now first to the buzzer. What is your selection? We'll go with A. A, their needs. Hey, let us take a closer look. Let us put a magnifying glass on that to see if you got it indeed correct. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you like to do? An insurance policy or that moolah? Moolah. moolah? We'll take some moolah. We'll take some moolah, Nicolette. All right, and that moolah is going to come right in for Timbana. Let's get in our next question. 
Why should parents share vital financial information with their children? <laughs> A, to get everyone on board in case of spending cuts or new savings goals, or B, to avoid overspending, and C, to give them a taste of financial worries. Team Bana, we're quickest to the buzzer this time around. What is your selection? We'll go with A. Team Bana will go with A to get everyone on board in case of spending cuts or new savings goals. Yay! Yes, it is Team Bana. So I would ask you once again. And there it is. A little ding! <laughs> what would you like to do? Add an insurance policy or that moolah? I think we'll go with some more moolah. Says Team Bana Nicolette. Get some more Mula. We have come to the end of round one. I can feel the pressure. I can feel it quite a, a lot on this side mm -hmm. of my. <laughs> but let's quickly take and see a look at those scoreboards and see where they're standing. Oh, yes, we have Team Mong. We're currently on 20,000 Mulas and that insurance policy in that portfolio. And Team Bana sitting with 28,000 Mulas and one insurance policy, Tyson. Mm. After the break, Team Mong and Team Bana will be facing up to a mountainous challenge. I cannot wait. We'll see you right after this on the Sunlam Mula Money Family Game Show. <laughs> the Sanlam Mulamani family game show and today we have team Mongwe going head to head against team Mbana for that 50,000 rand prize and here's an overview of what those scoreboards are looking like team Mongwe currently on 20,000 mulas and one insurance policy in that portfolio and team Bana sitting very comfortably with 28,000 mulas in their portfolio and one insurance policy okay. so now it's time to play the Mula money mountain we'll start off with a fastest fingers first and if you are first to the buzzer and get that answer correct then you unlock a true or false question pack which determines how far you move up the Mula mountain but as always make sure you know the correct answer before hitting the buzzer because if it is incorrect you lose 2,000 Mulas from that portfolio Michele. all right everybody ready to climb up this mountain here comes that first question how regularly should the entire family discuss the household budget a, at least once a month. B, once a year. C, never. It should be a taboo topic. Team Mongwe, what is your selection? A. A, at least once a month. We always have to take a closer look. Je, magnifying glass, Nyana. Is that correct? <laughs> Let's take a look for Team Mongwe. Yes, it is correct. Let's get in that true or false. Families who take joint responsibility for their financial matters achieve more success than those who don't. True. An emergency fund can help to give financial stability to your family. You don't necessarily need to earn more money to lead a better life. You just have to manage what you have in a better way. True. You should not involve your children in the family's financial plans. False. Your financial decisions for your family can be influenced by the way your parents manage their money. False. All right, Team Mong, we're climbing three spaces up that Mula Mountain. Let's see, Let's see where they end up. It is a life event. event. Of course, you could not have expected it. I do see you have an insurance policy in your portfolio. Would you like to cash it in at this time? Let's cash it in. Let's cash it in, says Team Mong. With that insurance policy coming in handy, you remain unscathed for this life event. Nicolette. Let's get that next question coming in. Which of the following is a better legacy for you to leave behind? A, children who are more money savvy. B, children who see money as the responsibility of adults. C, children who know how to buy online. Couple of preemptive hits <laughs> of the buzzer there, but you got it just at, at the end of the question. What's your selection? A. A says Team Mongwe. Let us see. Let us take a closer look. And yes, that is correct, Team Mongwe. Team Mongwe, here comes your true or false. The best lesson you can teach your kids is spend less than you earn. True. True. Children who learn about money from an early age make better financial decisions as adults. True. Giving your children pocket money is a good way to teach them money management skills. True. 
Children under 16 can open a bank account without their parents' ID numbers. True. Children who earn pocket money by doing chores have a better understanding of the value of money. True. It's a nice four move up the Mula Mountain. Let's see where that lands Timongwe. It is a fast forward, so you move a further three places up the Mula Mani Mountain. It is a conundrum. It is a conundrum! Now let me explain what a conundrum is. So at a conundrum, you're going to unscramble a word. You've got five seconds to do it. If you get it correctly, you get 4,000 mulas. Kiarofa, free, mahala. You get it wrong, I take 2,000 mulas. Are you ready? Let's load that word and start the clock. Affordability. Affordability says Team Mongwe. Mm, hey, she's so confident. Like, affordability. Affordab I got this. <laughs> affordability. Let's check. Is that the right one? Hey! And yes, it is. That's 4,000 rulers for you, Team Mongwe. Between me and you, none being I asked. All right, let's get in the next question. What is it called when you feel pressured to do the same things as other people in your social group in order to be liked or respected by them? A. Peer pressure. B. Winner takes all mentality. C. Being an extrovert. Team Mongwe was first to the buzzer. What is your choice? A. A says Team Mongwe. Peer pressure. Hmm, peer pressure. Woo, is that the right one you were looking for? And yes, it is, Nicolette. Timon, can you pay Timba na I peer pressure na ever so All right, Timon, here comes your true or false. It is important for children to be able to distinguish between wants and needs. True. If you teach your children sensible spending habits from a young age, this can help you to steer your family towards financial independence. True. Luxuries like labeled clothes are wants and not needs. True. Children should do as you say, not as you do. True. Saying no is an important part of teaching children that they cannot have everything that they want. True. All right, four spaces up that Mula Mountain. Mm. Oh, and it is a life event. This time mm. it's a car accident. Mm. I look at your portfolio and you've already cashed in that insurance policy. That means it's 2,000 Mulas lost from that portfolio, unfortunately, Team Mongwe. So, as things are hitting up right here on the Sanla Mulamani Family Game Show, let us give our teams Mongwe and Mbana a chance to just catch their breath a little bit. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this on the Sanla Mulamani Family Game Show. shows you the Muller, and at the end of the game, it gives you a VAT Muller. Absolutely. We have Team Mungwe today on 22,000 Mullers and no insurance policy in that portfolio. Mm -hmm. And we've got Team Bana sitting on 28,000 Muller in their portfolio, and they still have insurance. Our son Lumpro, Kultham, is with us, of course, today. Let's check in before we start round three. In the spirit of learning new things, here are a few nuggets of knowledge. Listen carefully. These might help you in this round. The best place to start with your family's financial plan is to involve them in your goals. By the age of three, your kids can grasp basic money concepts. Start teaching them about the value of money sooner rather than later. Sticking to your budget is the best way to put your dreams within your reach. As you can see, there's so much more to learn about family and money. So let's get on with it. Back to you, Tyson. Absolutely. We are back on the Mula Money Mountain. So, in this round, uh, Team Mongwe, because you were the most recent to play, we'll start off with Team Mbana. There is no buzzer in this section, but if you do answer the question correctly, then you unlocked that true or false question pack, which determines how far you move up the mountain. Mula Money Mountaineers, do we have that fire in our eyes? Are we good to go? <laughs> All <laughs> right, wait. Team Mbana, here comes your question. What is it called when you are making practical financial decisions and joining up plans to manage your household finances? Is it A, a financial planning, B, spending planning, or C, 
debt management. Timbala. We'll go with A, financial planning. A, financial planning. Is that the correct selection? Yes, it is. Yes, Timbana, it is correct indeed. <laughs> yes. And here comes your true or false. Sticking to your budget is the best way to put that car, house or overseas trip within your reach. True. Review your family's financial plan every 10 years. True. The best place to start with your family's financial plan is your goals. True. Financial planning is only for wealthy people. False. Brand new school clothes are always a necessity. False. All Ooh. right, I see her face going... Fourth <laughs> makes us up that Mula Mountain. Let's see where you end up. <laughs> it's 1,000 Mulas to that portfolio. I love it, I love it, I love it when Mula comes in. Tim Wangwe, are you ready for your question? Here it comes. What is the investment plan for a child's education called? A, an education plan. B, a savings account. C, a bursary. Tim Wangwe. A, says Team Mongwe, with a speed. And let's see if that is the correct one. Yes, it is correct, Team Mongwe. She's like, you know what, Kinali, I've yeah. got this, so this is okay. <laughs> All right, let's get in your true or false, Team Mongwe. If you have more than five years to save for your child's education, you can invest in funds with the potential to provide higher returns over time. True. The death of the family's breadwinner means the end of saving for your child's education. False. Investing in a well-planned portfolio can increase returns and protect the value of your child's educational plan. True. In South Africa, education inflation is about 4% higher than the general inflation rate. True. By age three, your kids can grasp basic money concepts. True. All right, she's coming in like a steamroller. She's like, I'm going five spaces up that Mula Mountain. Let's see where that ends you, Tim Wong. And it is oh. a life event once again Guys. for Team Woo, Mong no. Again, couldn't have foreseen it, but I see Woo. at the moment you are not insured. So that unfortunately is 2,000 moolahs from that portfolio, Nicolette. We are sure we'll see that ah. Team Mong Wei But let's definitely go to the next question. It is for you, Team Bana, and this is how it goes. What is the best way to deal with children when there is a financial crisis in the family? Is it A, comforting the child, B, open and honest communication, or C, pretending that nothing is wrong? We will go with B. B, says Team Mbana. Okay, okay, with the confidence, but let us see if that was the right selection. Yes, it was. <laughs> they're, they're saying, it's, it's like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's unlock that two or false. Involving the family will lead to better buy-in to cut back on expenses. True. Cut back on your spending as much as possible so that the children can continue spending as before. False. Avoiding the conversation might lead a child to imagine that things are far worse than they are. True. When the child wants to buy something, simply say no. You don't have to explain. False. It is easier to live frugally if you have discussed the benefits of this with the whole family. True. All right, Tim Banner coming back there. They're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Five spaces up that Willow Mountain. It is a rainy day, a life event. Uh, the first one for Team Mbana today. I see you have an insurance policy in that portfolio. Will you like to use it? A firm. Oh, yes. Confirming with a nod that they are using that insurance policy, mm -hmm. Nicolette. Mm -hmm. All right, that insurance policy has now been used. And that brings us to the end of our climb up that Mula Mountain. Let's quickly check in on the scores. Tim Mong, we're sitting 20,000. Are you guys happy with the 20,000? No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything can happen, of course. Team Mbana currently on 29,000 Mulas in that portfolio. All right, so I've got some good news for you. If you really are not that happy, there is still one more question that is still going to come. Remember, Tim Bana, there's a question that's coming through. That one question can make or break you because it can double or it can half your mullahs. Right, so remember, we're playing for 50,000 here. The buzzers are going to only get activated once I finish the last word in my question. So please do wait, but don't wait too long. Right, let's get that question in. Tabo dies without a will and is survived by his wife, Sophie. 
to which he was married out of community of property without an accrual system, and three children. His distributable estate is worth 850,000. How much will Sophie and the children receive? A. It is a split of 50-50 between his wife and children. Sophie will get 400,000 and the kids will share the remaining 450,000. B, it is a split almost equally between the four parties. Sophie will receive 250,000 and the kids will each get 200,000. Or C, Sophie will get the 850,000 and the children get nothing. Team Mongwe, we need your selection. Out of There's a clock. Um, it's possible. A, B, or C, please. C. C. C says Team Mongwe. That is their selection for the big one. Nicolette, 50,000 rands at stake. Was that the correct selection by Team Mongwe? Oh, oh Team Mongwe! And the correct answer you guys were looking for was a B. Team Mongo, you guys were such fantastic sports. Thank you for, for, for just being here and for playing the game as best as you could. Team Bana, well done. Thank You're on you. your way to the quarterfinals. So, Nia Nia Funda. Some belief. <laughs> and don't you forget to play the Sunlam Mula Money quiz game on our website. You can win amazing weekly prizes from the comfort of home. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, and let's see you on the next episode on the Sunlam Mula Money Family Game Show. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed, but I really enjoyed the game. Yeah, and we also want to congratulate our mm. competition, Timbane. Thank you very much <laughs> for the run. You, know? you gave us room for our money. Thank you. Bro, oh, yes. Yes. Still, still can't believe it. Um, massive amount of shock. It was really exhilarating to see. Your family needs to be a part of your budget discussions, um, regardless of how small your kids are. As soon as they can, can understand the value of money, they should actually um, be included.